What's up, Auction Up fans? This video is a compilation of the first three auctions that I visited and recorded for Auction Up. Um, I want to show you guys what I purchased and what I said I thought it was worth during my original video, and then I want to follow up with what it actually sold for. So um, I hope you enjoy these videos. Um, there's going to be more like these, more videos like this coming, especially for the next two to three weeks, due to the fact that this is a very bad time of year for auctions, and coronavirus really doesn't help the situation. Um, also, please remember to subscribe to Auction Up and to like the video. All right, here we go. It's a roller. That's an old school, old school Walpack roller. I'm getting this. This wallpaper roller was the first item I purchased while doing a recording for Auction Up. I sold it for $75 and the shipping cost was $43.90. This will always hold a place in my heart because it was the first. Some, um, let me see if I can get this on here right. I guess I can't. Random old school wall hangings for the kitchen. Kitchen. I paid $2 for them. This is more than I usually find in one lot, and they're on decent shape. So I'll probably list them for a minimum, bare minimum 30, maybe even 40 for this many. But um, it's just that easy. $2, turn it to 30. It's a good markup. These vintage Homeco interior wall hanging set. It was actually two sets. I didn't realize it until I took the pictures of them, but I already took them, so I listed it as is. Um, I sold it for $34. I probably could have, I definitely could have got $22 a piece for the sets, but I just got a little lazy. Um, but it sold for $34, and the shipping was $10.95. You know, these old vintage wicker plates, old bottles pay like a dollar. I did pay two dollars for those. That does go about thirty dollars. Um, these uh, Wheaton fish shaped jars they sold for sixty dollars, and the shipping cost to the customer was twelve dollars and thirty cents. This here was an awesome buy. Run around to the side of the car real quick. All right, for the box of these old light bulb inserts i have no idea what they're worth but i guarantee you i'm gonna be happy i brought that i have no doubt in my mind this vintage slash antique lot of light sockets or lamp parts i'm not sure which um they were in a bucket they cost me about one dollar nobody wanted them and turned around and sold them for 34 dollars and shipping was 12 dollars this is this is an excellent example of just Grabbing something that looks old and nobody else wanted at the auction and bringing in a nice little profit. For this old, um, what these are, it's a vintage or early flush stuffed thing. It's kind of funny looking, but they always sell well. I list that for at least 40 Pay like $4, maybe 3 but I'm listing that for a minimum of 40 This vintage slash antique plush monkey sold for thirty dollars on etsy and the shipping cost was 935 i was hoping for more on this one but it was still profitable at thirty dollars so i was happy with the purchase particularly i brought this one because of the bears um medicine bottle and there's a multiple i pay 17 17 or 20 i have no worries of tripling my money on this one on these old bottles no worries at all um, many of the bottles that were sold from this lot um were sold earlier than 90 days so i couldn't find them in ebay but i can tell you that this one just sold recently it was a garber's crystal sewing machine oil bottle it sold for 20 dollars and the shipping was 750 here, let's, we got, we got, we'll put choice, let's take a good lot here. We got this, three plastic guns, a holster, and another little gun in a holster right here. 
Yeah, cap gun. Choice out that lot right there. Who give me two dollars to pick out that lot again? Two dollars to pick. Two down three. Right, two dollar deer three. Two dollar deer three. Two dollar deer three. Two dollar deer three. Two dollars. Two twenty. I'll do all of them. You want them all? Yep. Five times. Five times. The Vintage Marks M14 battery operated toy rifle. I sold that for sixty dollars, and it had. And it had uh, twenty dollars and fifty cents in shipping. Um, the rifle was damaged. Toys always sell. Um, the boat action Springfield that you saw on the table, that one has not sold yet, but that one's listed for one hundred dollars. And the shipping currently for that one, well, it depends where you're in the U.S. But if I was to ship it to myself, it would be sixteen twenty-five. And the Ratatat gun, it was the old, the German, the camo looking one. I believe it was the old German gun. Um, that one is listed for 20 It has a lot of damage. Somebody was just asking about that just last week. But um, remember, toys sell. You just have to be patient. The antique metal, metal job right there. You give me five dollars on the bulldozer. Five, 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 two dollars. Dollar. Dollar, I have a dollar near two. I have a dollar near two. Dollar near two. Dollar near two. A dollar two twenty again. Horseshoe, uh, hook holder. Horseshoe. The Structo press steel bulldozer sold for twenty two fifty, and the shipping was nine dollars and twenty cents. As you can see, the that vehicle is very damaged. People love to buy them for parts and then rebuild them. Making a day. It's kind of funny. Got this old scientific clock. Um, the digital world clock sold for $35 and the shipping for it was $37. I also like to add that it's sold untested. Um, you'll see this a lot at auctions uh, and nobody was even interested in it. It cost a dollar. So I grabbed it. This Ten bucks, you know, ten bucks, ten, now we have a nine ball, now fifteen, seventeen, you have twenty, two and a half, twenty-five, two and a half, twenty-seven and a half, twenty-five, I'll make twenty-seven and a half, seven and a half, twenty-five, seven and a half, twenty-five dollars, we're going to fourteen, twenty-five dollars, one hundred. Okay, the vintage Whammo Fun Fountain Clown hat sold for one hundred and thirty-five dollars with a shipping price of thirty-seven thirty. Uh, we had to be a little patient for this one to sell, but it did sell. That's all that matters. All right, guys, I just wanted to follow up with some of the items I got yesterday, just to give you an idea of what to be looking for at auctions. All right, for this, this is a bust. The box actually had two of them. Um, what the other was an Indian hit, but I paid ten dollars for the bust. Between the two of them, this guy here goes for 40 the other one's going to go for about 30 this statuary corp spanish cadizador soldier sold for 40 dollars and the shipping was 1540 other ones you can more money this guy here i brought it on a whim because i thought it looked cool i looked it up found it quick 40 dollars it was a dollar in a box lot so you got to go with your gut instincts uh this is the old corp the TMS 2005 Virtue Vivian face kissing hand sculpture on a block sold for $45 with shipping of $10.20. This was a really good buy. I paid, I don't know, like three, I think. Um, it's older. It doesn't have a WWW on it or anything, so before the internet age, but. Two hundred dollars, just that easy. So, like I said, I spent like what one sixty-two. Uh, already, I'm well into my profit, and this is just a little bit of what I got. There's more that I want to show, but the next item here is a vintage Woolworths Santa Trail climbing Santa Claus Christmas toy. Paid three dollars for it. It sold for one ninety, and the shipping was, I believe, yeah, nine seventy. I uh, got a lot of people, they sent various offers for this. We stood our ground. Fortunately, we did. Pay $3 for $190 in return. Uh, that's huge. Um, this probably was one of my bigger hits in the last few months.
Tinkerbell thing. This is the weird stuff that you'll f find at auctions. It's forty dollars for this. It's you would think it's worth nothing at all, but it's got value. It's very vintage. It's from the eighties, um, and it has value to it. So stuff you gotta watch out for. This guy here. Okay, this uh, vintage Tom Phil's Tinkerbell cosmetic case, lotion, shampoo, toiletry setup here. I paid maybe two or three dollars for it. It sold for forty-two fifty, and the shipping was eight seventy. All right, here's some more items I got at the auction. Um, got this old leather doctor bag. Um, goes without saying. It's not in good shape. I didn't pay like two or three dollars for it. Listed for twenty five, twenty. It'll be on a prop somewhere. You ever notice we go this antique leather doctor bag with a divider in it? It sold for twenty five fifty, and it shipped for twenty eight forty five. Um, I brought this chess set for six dollars out of I don't know gut instinct, but I think it's going to sell. I'm probably going to list that for 40 This Asian Chinese carved wood chessboard sold for $75 with $13.60 shipping. And if you remember, this board had a it had some damage to it, but it still had value. Everything I got. So really quick here. This here is a, it's a nice old decanter set. The box was rougher condition. We sold it before for like 80 but because of the condition of the box, I am going to take everything out, but we'll still get about 60 for it. I think I paid 12 so I'm happy with that. But uh, this vintage decanter bar set is sold for $80. Uh, the shipping was $21.45. The ironic thing about this item is that the wood box was damaged. And so we threw that out and just took out the glass decanters and sold them separately from the, the, the original setup. And we still made a nice profit, about $64, $62 from it. All right, folks, that's the wrap of this compilation. Now, remember, these were the first three auctions that I went to. So you're going to see the profitability go up. As you, could, as you would say, my, my, I got my mojo back as I started going to more and more auctions. Um, I'll probably have another one done within the next week for sure. And all, and as always, please remember to like and subscribe to Auction Up. And until next time.